If you are scheduled to have a comprehensive eye exam or vision screening, you are taking an important step in caring for your eyes. Keeping your appointments with your ophthalmologist is a vital step in preserving healthy vision. To help you understand what to expect during your visit, let's take a look at what may happen as part of your exam. When you go into the exam room, your ophthalmologist will ask if you are having any eye or vision problems. You will be asked to describe these problems, including how long you have had them. You will review your history of glasses or contact lenses. Your ophthalmologist will then ask about your overall health, including any medications you take, and your family's medical history. During the discussion, your ophthalmologist may look away to make notes on the computer to keep proper records for your visit. Despite having to look away, rest assured that your ophthalmologist is listening to you. The eye doctor will check your vision, or what we call visual acuity, using a Snellen chart. This is the chart with the random letters in rows that become smaller line by line. You will be asked to read the lines of letters until you can no longer see them. To see if you need glasses or a new glasses prescription, the ophthalmologist will place several lenses in front of your eye, one at a time. He or she will ask you when the letters on the Snellen chart become easier to see. This is called a refraction test. The chair you sit in has equipment attached to it. This is called the slit lamp microscope. This device allows the doctor to see the inside and out of your eye up close. You will rest your chin in the chin rest attached to the instrument and place your forehead against the head support. Be sure to move your whole body to the edge of the chair and as close to the slit lamp as possible. Your ophthalmologist will then shine a light into your eye and look through the magnified lens. He or she will examine the clear surface of the cornea, the white of your eye called the sclera, and the colored iris. For an eye pressure check, you will have anesthetic drops put in your eye. As you sit very close to the slit lamp, your doctor will guide an instrument very gently so that it's just touching the front of your eye. This test, called tonometry, is used to detect and monitor glaucoma when you have increased eye pressure. Your ophthalmologist will check your side or peripheral vision. You will cover one eye and the doctor will ask you to focus on a target in front of you and describe what you see out of the corner of your eye, so to speak. He or she may use their upraised finger as a target. Or you may sit at a machine that has blinking lights appearing in different places. You will be instructed to press a button whenever you see a light. If your eye doctor plans to examine the retina and the optic nerve at the back of your eye, he or she will put eye drops in your eyes to dilate or widen your pupils. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for your eyes to dilate. Looking through the slit lamp again, your ophthalmologist will check the back of your eye. This area is called the fundus. It includes the retina and nearby blood vessels as well as the optic nerve. Your doctor may also use a handheld device called an ophthalmoscope to help closely see the structures at the back of the eye. After being dilated, your eyes will be sensitive to light for a few hours. Sunglasses will help when you go outside. There are other tests that may be performed as part of your eye exam. Your ophthalmologist will decide which tests you need based on your medical history and what he or she finds during the exam. If you have any questions about the exam, be sure to ask your ophthalmologist or a member of the eye care team. He or she will be happy to explain why certain tests are done as well as how to care for your eyes. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your eyes or vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your sight.